Alright, so before this video gets started, um, during the editing process of this video, the audio was extremely delayed, and I was already halfway through uh, editing the video, and then that audio glitch happened. So I had two options. I could either redo everything, which I had already spent like four hours editing the video because uh, I realized that I couldn't, there was no audio with an MKV file, it had to be MP, MP4, so I had to like spend an hour converting the file to from MKV to MP4. So this video is going to be kind of different, it's going to be like, instead of a live commentary, I'm just going to like record over it. And let me know if you guys like this better because I appreciate all the feedback that I can get. Alright, so, here as always, it's the intro. Hi, I'm Incognito92. We're here with a random rebuild where I pick a random team and I have to rebuild it. And then I load in my uh, preset settings that don't affect like the simulation at all, just like how much players get paid. And I randomly select the Celtics and I felt like that wouldn't be a good rebuild, so I hope you guys aren't mad at me that I redraft, like, re, uh, repicked a team, and it ended up being the Nuggets, which I was really happy with, because the Nuggets seemed like a fun team to rebuild. So I'm just looking at the roster, seeing what I, what moves I can make, and I realized that we're short on, like, guards, so I'm like, okay, yeah, that's cool, sign Trey Burke, all good. And then I realized we we're paying Mason Plumley 14 million, and I'm like, all right then. And then I talk about Bull Bull and how I really like that he's on this team as well. Um, and then I think I, I think I get rid of Tory Craig here. I look through Gary Harris and see that he's a literal 676 overall, and I'm just like, what? So I think I signed. I signed somebody else. Or no, what I do here is I move Jamal Murray to shooting guard and then reset the rotation. And I do that so his overall is better. So now we have a better starting shooting guard than Gary Harris. And we have a decent point guard, Monte Murris. I, I said that in the live commentary too because the duo of uh, Murray and Morris together just like I'd, I'd like instead of saying both their names I said them at the same time uh, I cannot believe I I did that twice now so that's unfortunate not even uh, voiceovered uh, not even a voiceovered video can like fix the dumb mistakes that I make oh well so here I'm like I don't want Paul Millsap or Mason Plumley. And then I get Blake Griffin, which I'm like, okay, Blake Griffin and Luke Kennard, that's a that's a good duo. But I kind of make the mistake here because I don't I like I don't realize that we have Jamal Murray at the shooting guard. So Luke Kennard's, and then I release somebody, so we don't have like a bunch of shooting guards. But then I don't realize that oh wait, Jamal Murray's at the shooting guard, so uh, that that's a that's that's uh that's on me. That was a bad decision. And then here, I'm just looking through the roster, seeing if there's any other changes that I want to make. And yeah, I'm, I'm like, I don't really want Tory Craig, and this is where I drop him. And then we pick up Isaiah Thomas because I wanted Isaiah Thomas on our team, and we get Isaiah Thomas. And then, let's see, what do we do here? Okay, so I see the K I keep K to Bates Diop, and then I mess with like the uh, scoring preferences, and then I make Jokic the first option, Jamal Murray the second, and Blake Griffin the third, and then I sim to the end of the season. Actually, no, I sim to the trade deadline because I want to move Blake Griffin and a second round pick. I I move a second. Oh god, I was about to say if I move Blake Griffin and a f and a first round pick for. You'll see who we pick up. You'll see who we pick up. So I'm just looking through the offer, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll take Goran Dragic. But I didn't want Solomon Hill. So I think I kept Solomon Hill. Let's see. Did I keep Solomon Hill? 
I did keep Solomon Hill, it looks like. So yeah, I keep Solomon Hill. And then I realize that Jeremy Grant isn't really like the starting power forward that I want, so I try and make a move for him to get a better power forward. I throw him and Noah Vonley in the same package for nothing. I honestly don't think this trade went through at all. Yeah, it didn't. Okay. And then more simming. More simming. Oh, did I not cut this part out? Is it literally just me simming? Wow, if I didn't edit all this out, that's kind of embarrassing. Oh no, I just wanted to... <clears throat> okay, so I did I did forget to edit that out, but it's like an extra six seconds. It doesn't really matter that much. But uh, yeah, I need to become a better video editor. And here I'm just looking to see how much Gordon Dragic has scored since being on the Heat. Or, I'm sorry, since leaving the Heat. And then I'm like, oh, he's averaging 20 points for, per game. He's, he's really good. And then I realize we've only played four games. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, not as impressive. And then I think I try and move, who do I move? I swear I make a trade. I swear I make a trade here. Okay, never mind, more simming, I guess? What? Oh no. The more I like rewatch this Okay, never mind. Yeah, so we finished the season with a very unimpressive like thirty seven and forty five. Oh, we gotta take that out one sec. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I literally had to like make an editing thing midway through, oh lord. And then I see Demarcus Cousins there, and I see that he's on a cheap contract and I'm like, I want cousins. And I want our big three to be cousins, Jokic, and Murray, but I th think something else happened, so I'm just looking through people on the All-NBA team, realizing that you literally need players like Jokic and Giannis to uh, be on the first All-NBA team, and then I realized Pascal Siakam is on the NBA third team when I'm not the user controlled Raptors, and I am absolutely outraged, because not only was Pascal scoring more points, but they also had a better record, so... I don't like how 2K like screws over the user player, and then, yeah, we obviously didn't do anything in the playoffs, because we didn't even make the playoffs. I was just really outraged that the Toronto Raptors made it when I'm not even, like, the GM of them. So we leave the draft lottery, blah, blah, blah. We want to sign Trent Peterson as our assistant, but he's already a head coach for somebody else. And then, I think we go with Dana Falk. Yeah, we go with Dana Falk. He accept our offer, I'm pretty sure. And for some reason, I'm... Okay, so I fire our head coach because I want Michael Stauffer. So then I sign Michael Stauffer, and then Reese, like, try and sign Dana Falk, which he signs for a really cheap contract for some reason. So yeah, and then we go to the NBA draft, and I'm pretty sure we make a draft night trade. Yeah, so we throw in Will Barton and uh, Michael Porter Jr. for DeMontis Sabonis. And I'm, I'm really hesitant to do this deal. And I just look at the other offers, but none of the other offers are really like worth Michael Porter Jr. and Will Barton. So I am totally cool with pulling the trigger on Sabonis and uh, McDermott. And then I think that's all we do in the draft. I don't think we draft anyone as far as I know. No, we do. We sim to our user pick, and then we draft the power forward, right? Yep. Donald McGuire is who we pick up with the 16th pick. 16th pick, yes. And then we sim to the end. Then pick his rookie contract up, uh, pick up Luke Kennard's contract. Uh, we don't pick up Keita Bates, Diop's team option, but we do give a qualifying offer to PJ Dozier and Bull Bull. And then we go after Cousins on a two-year flat. And right now I'm just looking through to see what we need. And I move Jokic to the four and Sabonis to the small forward. But then I realize that brings his overall down like by a lot. So I'm just like, whatever. He'll come off the bench. And then 
I I keep Jokic at the four, even though I just change his position to center on the uh, VOD. And I don't think I pick. Yeah, I do pick up Goran Dragic again. No, no, I don't. I let him walk. I let him walk. And I try and pick up. Okay, so I wanted to pick up uh, Dwight Howard and Marcus Cousins, but I wouldn't have enough money for them. And then I pick up uh, Denzel Valentine. So this is the part where I just start signing good bench players, like Goran Dragic on another deal. And then who else? As we bring back Isaiah Thomas. And then I let Bobol uh, accept the qual uh, the restricted qualifier. Unless I'm an idiot and literally, like, renounce his rights. Okay, I don't. Oh, my lord. Sometimes watching these VODs back reminds me of, like... I don't know. It reminds me to, like, think about things before I do them in later playthroughs. So, I realize that we really don't have a good, solid starting uh, small forward, and unfortunately we don't have enough cap left to go after a starting caliber small forward, so we're left with Denzel Valentine and Shannon Anderson and Doug McDermott, which, I mean, it didn't really cripple us as bad as I thought it would. And then we go to player progression, we see that, hey, people have gotten better, and I end... I actually don't end up making Jokic a 4. What? Let's see this. Surely I move him back to 4, right? Right? Come on. No way. No way I don't do this. Okay, I do. Jeez. I was getting kind of scared there for a second. I was like, whatever, we'll just have DeMontis Sabonis be our sixth man. And then, is this where we go to training camps? No, this is where we move someone to center, right? Yeah, we move Jeremy Grant to the center. And then, uh, we keep Doug McGuire at his preferred position, right? Or do we move him to... No, we keep him at his preferred position, right? No, we make Devontis a bonus to center. Okay. And then we make sure that um, he doesn't start over Cousins because that's not what I want. And then we send Shannon Anderson to untapped potential, advance into the season, and then here we are at the trade deadline where I make a move. Jamal Murray and Devontis a bonus for Bam out of bio, and who was that? Bam out of bio, and it, I. Blake Griffin, yeah. So we get Blake Griffin back, and we lose Jamal Murray, but add Adebayo, and I think Jokic and Adebayo together as a duo is dirty. So that's the big brain play of the year, as I called it. Um, wow, there's actually a lot of parts where the simulation isn't edited. Maybe it's because we make a trade? Surely, right? Surely I didn't just leave, like, eight seconds of me just simulating here, right? Ah, yes, that's right. I did. Of course I did. Uh, some of the stuff might not actually make it into the live feed. You know what, whatever. I'm not editing this anymore. This is just going to be how it is, so... Yeah, I look for... I see that Jokic numbers dipped by a lot, and I'm really confused as to why, so I'm like, what? And we also moved... I didn't catch that. We also moved somebody for Devontae Graham. I think it was DeMarcus Cousins. I do believe it was DeMarcus Cousins, so yeah. We don't even make the playoffs, or we're out in the first round. No, we didn't even make the playoffs. And then we just look at player retirements. Reject all the new rules. Uh, go to the lottery. Staff signings. We Sean, signed Sean Navarro as our trainer. That guy is our head scout because our old scout wasn't that good. And then I realized, oh no, he didn't accept that offer. And this guy probably won't either, but for some reason he does. He signs for dirt cheap. And then I'm like, oh wow, no one is going to sign at our CFO position, so... Um, we have to sign someone with a C plus um, marketing or whatever the skill is that CFOs have. 
It's something I can't remember. And then we we have the 11th pick, and I'm pretty sure we make a move for no. We get to uh, Vlade Rodic. I'm pretty sure Rodic. And Blake Griffin accepts his qualifying or his player option. He opts in for another year as that's well, the smart financial decision. And then we trade Blake Griffin for Daniel Gafford because I literally was not about to play pay Blake Griffin as much money as he wanted. And then Gary Harris thought he deserved more money than he was worth, so I'm just like whatever. And then I re-signed Devontae Graham on a two-year, right? I get him on a two-year deal, right? Let's see. No, I signed Bam out of bio first. I make sure that we have enough, like, cap for him. Which we do, because um, we get that weird thing where we have to match his $4 million contract. And let's see. Where do I where do I pick up Devontae Graham? Yeah, and then I'm pretty sure we go with the two year. And then we two year, right? I don't know. First first we sign George Hill because, you know. Uh it's like sometimes looking back at these files I'm like, I waste so much time. Just like thinking. And then we signed Luke Kennard even though oh uh, actually no, we lost we we got rid of Jamal Murray, so yeah. And then we saw Tim Hardaway Jr., uh, Grant Hill, and then I'm like, oh, wait, we don't have any starting small forward. So I signed Otto Porter, and I can't sign Troy Brown Jr., so I end up signing Joe Harris and who else? Actually, no, I matched Devontae Graham's offer. Wow, so I really... Wow, okay. And then, let's see... What what next? Do I pick up TJ Leaf? No, I pick up Thaddeus Young on a minimum deal. And then Daniel Tice. For two years. Two year flat. And then I pick up Shannon Anderson again, right? Yep, Shannon Anderson. And then another another year. Never mind, I guess he Okay, no. So I get him on his restricted qualifying offer. Yeah, and then we go to player progression. Obviously, Jokic, like, isn't as good as a center as he is a power forward, which, I mean, to me, doesn't make sense. But, oh well, 2K logic isn't the most logical of logic. That was probably the most confusing and unnecessary statement I've ever made. And for some reason, I guess I was just sitting here talking on my phone or something. I thought maybe the VOD was froze. And then we send our uh, rookie to untapped potential and Shannon Anderson to untapped potential again. And we edit our lineups. Actually, we send Shannon Anderson to the G League and Doug McGuire. Or Doug McGuire, Donald McGuire, and then Sim. And at the end of that season, we go 51 and 31. Which isn't bad. And then we just look. We see that Kyle Guy is the most improved player. And I'm actually going to try and do a Kyle Guy rebuild or something. I want him on my team because I've seen like vi other people's rebuild videos. And he turns into like a scoring machine if you send him into the G League. So I want to experiment on how good Kyle Guy can get. So yeah. Jokic numbers go up again. And no one else on an All-NBA team, right? Nope. No one else on an All-NBA team. And then I think I look, like, at the override just to see where, like, Bam out of bio was. Uh, and how close he was to getting on the All-NBA team. So we're the second seed in the West. Uh, first round we go up against Portland, get down 2-0, and then 4-0 them. Next round, Minnesota, and I'm pretty sure okay so it was a game seven victory and then the same thing happens we come back from a 3-1 lead on new orleans uh final matchup versus boston we easily win 4-1 and yeah so i won a championship with Jokic, adebayo and graham which i th 
that wasn't even really a big three. It was more of like a dynamic duo plus Devontae Graham. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a little different than my normal videos, which is okay. And with that, it's been Incognito92. See you later.